Well, well, well. <laughs> Would you look at what the cat wrecked? Hey, don't just glance off at me like I'm furniture. And what do you even think you're doing here? And why the hell are you... covered in blood? <sighs> don't tell me they're looking for you out there. And you seriously came here? <laughs> you are supposed to be terrified of me, given our history and all. And you really just barge in here and... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, look at me. Look at me. There you go. Looks like you're back now. Ugh, stop struggling. You're getting my damn lap all bloody. At least let me finish tending to your wound, hero. Yes, I had to restrain you. I don't want you making a fool of yourself in an attempt to fight your way out of here just yet. As amusing as it would be to watch you fight in a state, it would be a shame if you were to mess up my lap. Or alert anyone by making unnecessary noise. <sighs> Seriously. You have to be either desperate or insanely stupid to try and hide from my own minions in here. Perhaps both. Eh, likely both. Oh, don't look at me like that. Did you really think I'd just glance over it? I mean, I know you didn't have much time to think it out, but I suppose I should feel insulted by my self-declared arch-nemesis stumbling in my lap all bloody like this. <laughs> or maybe it's supposed to be some sort of twisted compliment where you think there's still some good left in me. And then again... I always did feel as though you had a soft spot for me. Somewhere behind that Hawaii costume. <laughs> Don't even try to hide it, hero. You're not sly. Don't raise your eyebrow at me like that. Know that I could have killed you the moment you stepped in here. You are entirely at my mercy. I thought you were smarter than this. But it seems you really trust me enough to come in here after getting your ass beat. Or maybe... Maybe you wanted me to finish you off. What an honor, truly. <sighs> Stop glaring. It was a jest, dimwit. But I have to admit, I enjoy our fights and... prefer to take you out fair and square. Otherwise, where would be the fun in it? And that's the only reason I even allowed your eyes to open again. I am not usually this gracious towards others, so do not expect this kind of treatment in the future. I could have ended you so easily. You really have far too much trust in the people around you. Luckily, I may be a villain, but I'm not a dirty cheater like most of my minions are. They seriously messed you up, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. I bet they used your kindness to get the better of you. Just so they could say that they killed or captured a famous hero. It's stupid, really. I'm not sure why I even bother with them. These days it's quite difficult to find anyone who actually gives a shit about the state of this forsaken world. Oh, don't be surprised now. Didn't think an evil bad villain like me would care about that kind of stuff, did you? You seriously thought I was actually just here to obtain world domination or whatever. Seriously? These government officials really have their grip on you, foolish hero. 
I bet you think I kill orphans for fun or some other bullshit like that. But... Oh, come on. Judging by your look, I am not too far off. <sighs> Oddly enough. Truth is, I am not like that. We are really not that different, you and I. I see how much you care about the people around you. You may be one of the only heroes that hasn't been corrupted by this capitalistic, money control shithole of a world yet. But your naivety is almost just as painful to watch. You really want to see the best in people, don't you? Is that why you've been going soft on me? Did you think you could fix me? Oh, you poor, naive, foolish little hero. And that's not how this world works. And eventually, you will have to learn that. It's not all just black and white. And not everyone can be saved. People are rotten, darling. All they care about is their own gain. And nothing but it. You think you're doing good for the sake of the world, but really? You're just so much of a people pleaser. You forget to care about what happens to you. No. I don't give a shit about what happens to you outside of our fun little rivalry. It's just... It's just such a waste of your talent to fight for what you've been conditioned to think is right. Have you never questioned what they've been teaching you? Have you never wondered what's been going on in your forsaken government? Or the corruption, the money laundering, the under the table bullshit. People fucking themselves into better positions, taking away from those who are actually talented. Exploiting the poor and unfortunate, using people like you. Draining your talent to make you a mindless slave of the lawless politics. You, my dear, could be so much more. Oh, keep your so yes eyes off of me. I'm not sympathizing, simply stating facts. I've told you before, I have no interest in you or your kind. Though, I have to admit, you do somehow spark my interest. Perhaps, if you were to join me, I'd keep you as my right hand. I treat you well, and anyone who's ever dared to lay a hand on you, or use you in any way, I'll show them a whole new world of pain. <laughs> Don't be scared now, darling. We'd make a pretty decent team, don't you think? Yes, your dirty little government tyrants would be quite disappointed to see you in my arms. Or by my side, rather. But think about all the good we could do. We could punish every bad person, steal from the evil witch and spread their wealth amongst the poor. A world where nobody had to live in fear of being able to feed themselves the next day. Nobody would have to turn to crime to afford a living. And we, on top of it all, assuring everyone is treated right. We could create such a beautiful world. Just you and me. Getting rid of all the bad, all the fear, shame and sadness. We would create a world where policemen could be trusted and judges wouldn't favor rapists over their victims. A world where nobody would feel entitled to anything that isn't theirs and where everyone could live free and happy. Doesn't it sound tempting? Oh, darling, you really mustn't be surprised like this, terrified of even my rambles. 
As a hero, you too must realize how most criminals that actually end up in prison are but small fish, wishing to feed themselves or their family. And those who are actually causing all the issues are hoarding money and paying their way out of prison, oftentimes even making the cops work for them. Isn't it such a terrifying thought? Those kinds of people secretly pulling all the strings? But not anymore. No longer. I'm tired of it. We are tired of it. So, join me, darling. Let us be partners in crime.